24 hours after a building caved in in Yaba area of Lagos, the excavators sit idly on the rubble at the scene. One rescued alive, four bodies recovered by midnight. A student on industrial training who was said to have been attached to an engineer on the site is missing and his family members are back to the site for information. We recovered four bodies. I need to assure the good people of Lagos State, we will do holistic investigations about what led to this. But however, we've gathered some informations and those information right now, we will change our mode of operations. We will look into the um, information given to us because every information in emergency management is very, very important. This development forced the return of emergency management officials back to work as they continue the rescue mission. Some residents of the area are also worried that some buildings in the neighborhood may suffer similar fate if appropriate agencies fail to nip the problem in the board. When people are catching on on the investment opportunities which they have identified because we have University of Lagos as having accommodation problems and what have you, that's not a bad idea. But the issue is how do you build, uh, how do you come up with proper buildings that would not expose you know, uh, uh, occupants to unnecessary risk. And I can tell you, we have many in the neighborhood. It's just a, mat it's just a matter of time. In this neighborhood? Yes, within the community. Many with what? With different? With different, structural defects. Is it possible for anybody to build without approval? Scapta, no. Somebody somewhere is dropping the ball. Building professionals are also on ground for early assessment. I'm of the opinion, it's a personal opinion, that until and until the government makes up his mind that anybody that is found guilty is punished, we will continue like this. It's, it's getting too much. The question is, is when we're having this thing, how many people are punished? When synagogue came down, I was member, I was a member of the committee. I was going with other people to the site. We did the investigation. We went to court. Report was written. What happened to that report? When that one is equal, it came down. I was on the field. We started the case. The case is still on. What happened? The one at Isaleko, what happened? As long as this thing comes around, and all we do is to bring bulldozer, bulldoze the place, but if we find out many casualties, write reports, and nothing comes out of the report, we will continue like this. And it's unfortunate the way we are losing life. Hours after combing the rubble, one more body was recovered. This incident is coming three months after a 21-story building kept in in a co area of Lagos where more than 50 people, most of whom are construction workers, died. Dari Ito, Channels Television News.